Hello everyone. So in this video, we will try to explore the Nebula Logger, okay, which is used to log the exceptions, errors, very easily, okay. So this is a framework created by John Pai, and it is available on GitHub, okay. So you can use either as a managed package or unlock package in your org and directly can use it. And if you want to know more about it, then you can come to GitHub and you can read about it. What's the framework, what's the architecture of it. So in this video, we will not explore in detail, but we will know that how it is capturing the data and all and how it is generating the log. Okay. So in our later videos, we will explore that what are the objects are involved, why it is doing, which fields they are using. Okay, we will try to explore the things in our later videos. But in this video, we will just explore how it is logging the errors. Okay, so as you can see here, this is a simple trigger, okay, which is doing what it is just inserting an contact inserting a contact when a account is inserted okay so here you can see that in the cache block i'm using these statements logger.error logger.save log so what it is doing we will see in picture okay we will see in action so let's see let's create an account Okay, this is our test account and according to our trigger, one contact should be inserted. Okay, so account is inserted, one contact is also, also inserted. If I will check this logger console app, which is coming after installing the unlock package of Nebula logger. Okay, so if you go to log tab, logs tab, so here it should show all logs. So currently there is no error in my trigger. So it will not log any, it will not create any log record. You can see no record is there. Okay. So now let's see, I will miss this field. Save it. Okay. Now we will get an exception, right? That required field is missing, but we want to see the error on UI. Okay. What's that? I don't want to go to debug logs and check that thing. I just want to see that. If contact is not inserted, then what's the error? Okay, let it save, wait for it to save. But trigger is saved without the required field. So what will be the exception that required field is missing? But we don't want to check the debug logs from here or from setup. Okay, we want to see the log on the UI. So that's why I'm using this class. Logger is a class is a part of that uh, tabular logger these are the methods okay so let's try to create a new account test account to let's see see account will be inserted but contact is not created okay so because we missed the required field so let's see any log is generated or not so log has been generated just go to this record and you will found a log entry which is mentioning that insert field required field missing okay first we will see what are the details captured in the log record so here you see uh, why it is giving this number dollar entry is one because here we are just saving the error we are not saving any warning or info because it is having multiple methods to record those things okay so here that we will explore in our later videos so here you just understand that uh, currently we are just capturing the error so it is creating only one entry here okay and who is the owner and if it's an issue, the some checkboxes they are maintaining here. Okay. Then the user who generated that log, what's the profile of the user? Okay. 
or uh, some organization details so it is capturing these things so let's see what is in the log entry so in log entry you will see uh, the origin of the error so origin of error is our trigger okay the trigger name is there trigger context is after insert username and what's the error error is insert field required field missing which field last name and which line it is captured line number 13 if you see here line number 13 is this one right so this is how your log is generated using nebula log package so in our later videos we will explore some other things the objects related to these nebula logger custom settings permission set yeah one more thing i want to mention here is that before using this logger thing before using these logger methods you need to assign a permission set to yourself so it could be they have given multiple permission sets to use here you can see yeah these one log logger creator and user log people logger admin so i just assigned this one to myself logger admin and i i have not done any custom setting in my org okay so i'm using without any custom setting just assign this permission set and it's creating the log okay so in our later videos we will explore the objects custom setting custom metadata uh, platform events so many things related to this nebula logger and currently we are generating logs for apex right so in later videos we will explore how we can generate logs for lightning components flow and process builder okay so thank you so much just wait for the next videos Thank you.